सो हाई आइज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन बी पेयर्स ऑफ फोर्थ फोर्स इज अराउंड फाइव सिक्सटी टू तो बेसिकली हियर यू वुड भी गिवन टू इंटीजर्स एंड एम एम एंड एम पेयर्स ऑफ इंटीजर्स एंड वेयर ईच पेयर्स इंटीजर्स वुड भी बिटवीन वन टू वन नाउ आई वुड शो यू फर्स्टली ग्रीडी अप्रोच एंड आफ्टर दैट आई वुड शो यू अ माइंड ब्रॉगलिंग अप्रोच बाय ग्रास एंड द लॉजिक ऑफ विच कैन बी सीन दैट द इनपुट फॉर्मेट इज ऑफ फुली graphs and if you are not an experienced coder then the method which i would be showing you is not easily uh, commendable and uh, could and you couldn't just get it by intuition it's very uh, mind boggling method so now let's start so basically what we have to do is let me take an input also so that it would be easier for me to explain you uh 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 okay 1 2 2 3 3 4 5 okay Two, three, three, four, four, five. So basically, what we have to actually do is just nothing. Just we have to take x and y such that every pair's integers should be at least one of x or y. If we have uh, both uh, pairs of integers satisfying x and y, then also it could be the case. But we have to choose at least one. So suppose here, if we choose two and four, then definitely this two comes in this pair, in this pair, and this four comes in this and this. so here basically we have to print the answer yes as the condition that the question gave us is perfectly satisfied now what we can do this is uh, we take first pair numbers and what we can notice is that whatever x and y we would choose any one of x or y would definitely come from the first pair if the answer has to be yes because uh, every every pair has to be satisfied by at least one of the x and y so any of the x and y should come from at least uh, the first pair so what we would do is that we would take these two numbers from the first pair and then check all the other pairs and then check all the other pairs of by taking this one as firstly x and uh, and whenever we find that uh, any pair is not satisfying uh, this uh, property that one is not one is present there so we would take those two numbers as y and then check all the other pairs for those y's and this ones and then again we would do with by taking this x is equal to 2 so now i would be showing you the code so it would be more easier for you to understand uh let okay so basically here is my main function this is a solve function which i am calling and here i am taking two maps and a map of uh, pr int this pr is actually pair which i am defined which i have defined here so uh, yeah so here i am taking the first pair as uh, outside loop because i have to take the, those two numbers and uh, do the calculations ahead and this would be storing all the pairs with the with corresponding boolean values and what i would be actually doing here is this uh let me make new graph it's b4 4 5 now what i would be doing here is, is i would take this one and then check all the pairs and the pairs in which i get this one i would mark that pair as true initially all would be false and uh, this i would mark as true if this contains i would also mark this as true now after that the number of falses which are present in my initial map and after and the number of falses which are present in my initial map i would take with the numbers of those pairs and make a frequency array like uh, for example in for one i need to i don't need to show anything because it's not it, it's just based let's suppose we take two now this two comes in this pair so i would mark this as true this two comes in this pair so i would mark this as true now this two doesn't comes in this pair so it would be definitely false here and here also it would be false so i would iterate over all the pairs which are falses and then store the values which are there in a frequency array or a map 3 1 4 2 5 1 now as both these elements have to be different which is mentioned in the question so the number of frequency array so the number in the frequency array of any number if the if that is equal to the number of falses then the answer would be definitely yes as we can see that there are two falses 
and the frequency of the four is two so the answer would be definitely yes so this logic is only i'm implementing it here i would be also providing the code link by the paste bin in my uh, description down below you can look here by by that also and the, and here i am doing what i have explained to you just now this is just for cal checking which are uh, which uh, in in which which pairs that number is present i would be marking them as true and then i am checking the which are the false i would be storing in uh, in those uh, uh, in this local map by making frequency array and the and those elements which are initially true i have to make them false also as after this uh, initial loop of i is equal to a would be executed the uh, the next loop would contain i is equal to b so for that i have to make initial all values false and then i would be taking the maximum if the maximum is equal to this k and this k is actually uh, the here and uh, the size of the map minus the count variable of how many pairs exist that contains at least uh, one of the x so and after that if this is the condition see out yes otherwise no so this was not that difficult intuition wise but yeah implementation wise it could be a bit difficult but now what the approach i'm going to tell you would be a bit different and if you are not an experienced coder you would definitely be it would definitely be very hard to think of that approach let's tell you that so let's take the previous input only suppose we have these vertices one two two three three four four five okay four five one two is connected two and three are is connected three and four is connected four and five is connected now what we have what we actually need to find is that we have to choose at most two vertices two vertices and such that those two vertices should have all the edges covered so what so by that what i mean is that suppose if i choose here two and four now what you would see is that this four is connected by this and this this two is connected by this and this so here all my edges connection is completed by two and four so it, the answer for this would be yes. Now let's take the first input also so that you could be able to understand more. 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4. Oh. Yeah. 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4. So the graph would be somewhat like this. So here what you could see that no matter which two vertices I choose, I wouldn't be able to get all the edges connected to them. Suppose if I choose one and four, then this would be done, 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 would be done but this would remain. If I choose this and this, 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 this would be done, this would be left. So, uh, at, more, so at least one would definitely be left. So what I can conclude here from the, is that. okay so after this array yeah. so uh, let me write the input again i'll make this as adjacency list one two two three three four four five five four and two is also connected to one uh, four is also connected to five and okay so now what i'm trying to say is that we take a maximum number of uh, we take the so let me define degree of each node as to the number of edges it is connected so the degree of one would be one two would be two three would be two four would be one and five also one so what i'm trying to say is that I take that node which has the maximum degree and then I delete all the edges corresponding to that node okay and then after that I again choose the uh, I again choose that node which is having highest degree and then I would delete all the 
which is corresponding to that node and if after these two operations my adjacency list uh, uh, my degree my all the degrees of all the nodes is zero then the answer would be yes otherwise no and how this logic is working is like by like me let me take the previous example only which was somewhat good okay so here the adjacency list would be somewhat like this one two one three four three one two four four one two three now the degree of uh, all of them is three so the highest of all of them is three only so suppose i choose one so i would delete all the edges corresponding to one uh, okay this 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 would be deleted so after this what uh, i would be left with two four okay so now what i would be seeing is that suppose if i choose two then i would delete these two edges and after these and after this deletion there would be this edge left in my graph if i choose this and this there would be this left if i choose this and this there would be this left so at least one edge remains and hence the answer would be definitely no now let me take the previous one two three four now here what you can see is that if i choose two i would delete this and this if i choose four i would delete this and this so there would be no edges which would be left in the graph so after this operation i have covered all the edges and hence the answer would be yes so this is the basic implement implementation is not that difficult but uh, yeah if you are not an experienced coder it would be a bit different though you may have thought it but uh, we were unable to think it uh, at the first time what i'm doing is that <clears throat> this is uh, the adjacency list i'm storing in it in this form because i may get elements somewhat like this one two one two one two one two but uh, if i have made one edge between one and two then no matter how many times it is it says me that there is an edge between one and two one and two one and two it doesn't matter to me so i take a map of int comma set of int you could you could also take this as an unordered set of unordered map because we are not doing find operation so it would be same so here i am just i am just taking the input okay and after that i am just uh, i am just taking all the sizes of uh, the corresponding edges and the and the, and the size which is having the maximum i am taking that size in the mx variable and corresponding to that uh, vertex i am taking and after this i would be deleting all the and yeah i need to tell you also how i'm deleting the edges actually i'm not deleting the edges i'm just subtracting the degree suppose if i choose 2 3 1 so i would delete the edge between 2 3 and 2 1 so i would be subtracting degrees of 3 2 and 1 2 so minus 1 in degree of 2 and minus 1 in degree of 3 similarly minus 1 in degree of 1 and minus and minus one in degree of two so at last the vertex i am choosing its degree would be ultimately zero so because i am choosing every every edge corresponding to that node and deleting its degree and simultaneously i am deleting the degree of that vertex also so ultimately the node which i am choosing its degree would be one and all the edges which is which it is connected to its degree would be decreased by one so here that i am only doing the maximum was uh, stored in mx variable and the corresponding node was stored in k so i'm making this degree is equal to zero and then i'm subtracting all the uh, edges which which it is connected to by this operation now here my base code is completed this loop is just to check suppose uh, i am having these sorts of pairs like one two one three one four one five one six so in this uh, if I take one, it would ultimately satisfy my condition. So I'm check, uh, just checking it uh, this time also so that if all the uh, pairs have uh, have zero, then the answer would be yes. Otherwise, I would just move on to other conditions. So here I am doing the again same thing, same thing, same thing, and then if the answer is this, then see out yes. Otherwise, no. So if you have any doubt related to these two approaches then you can comment it down below and uh, if you 
think I should change something in my explanation or should what should I improve? You can also comment it down below. I would be very happy to listen to that. So I would be linking both the codes down below in the description section and hope you liked it. Thank you.